What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about consoles, the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One. Of course, this is a, a battle that rages on every day in the hearts and minds of fans around the world. Uh, which console is the best? Which one has the best hardware, the best controller, the best games, the best exclusives, the most exclusives? These things have been going on for the last two years and I don't see any time in the future that this will stop. Now I came across a video because I'm a YouTuber, I'm on YouTube, I'm subscribed to plenty of big channels like Rooster Teeth and one of their sub channels it's called The No. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that channel. Uh, they actually had a segment on uh, earlier in the week with the Funhouse guys and they were talking about which of these two consoles has the most exclusives. Now for the last half of the year, 2015, everybody knows that Microsoft is going to basically kill the end of the year. They got lots of games coming out, they got Tomb Raider, they got Halo 5 Guardians, they got Forza, they got games that everybody's really excited about. Sony really didn't have much of anything uh, of note for the end of the year as far as exclusives go. And so that really made Sony not look quite as sparkly as Microsoft for the end of 2015. And having both consoles, I can honestly say that. Microsoft's game seemed more appealing for the hardcore for the end of 2015 than Sony's because Sony really didn't have any exclusives. It's all, you know, it's all cross-platform, multi-platform stuff. Uh, this video, the Funhouse video, they went in-depth into the games that are coming out that have been announced for Microsoft's console and for Sony's console, and you'd be surprised to find out who has the most exclusives. Like I said, there's gonna be a link in the description. I hope you guys click on it, watch the whole video, support Rooster Teeth, they're a great channel. Now, Microsoft has been found out. Now, some of their games have already come out. Games like Forza 6, Halo 5 Guardians have already come out, so those do not count anymore. They still got other exclusives like C Crackdown 3 that have been announced, Gears of War 4, Quantum Break, these big Xbox One titles everybody knows about. But their total amount of exclusives that have been announced from here until the foreseeable future at this point in time are seven exclusives. They have seven exclusives including the three I just mentioned, Crackdown 3, Gears of War 4, and Quantum Break. Now you might ask what does PS4 have at this point that's been announced? They've got 33 exclusives announced for PlayStation 4 only. Okay, and I'm going to tell you some of them. I'm not going to go through them all. If you guys want to see them all, click on the video. There'll be a link in the description. Tekken 7 is a PlayStation 4 console exclusive. Street Fighter 5 is a PlayStation 4 console exclusive. Boundless is PS4 only. No Man's Sky is PS4 console exclusive. Robinson looks awesome. It reminds me of Portal. That's PlayStation exclusive. Gravity Rush 2. Is a PlayStation exclusive. I just beat Until Dawn. Now they've got this new PlayStation VR version or a new version of Until Dawn called Rush of Blood. PlayStation exclusive. They even announced a new Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Sport. There's a lot of games coming out for PlayStation 4. And I was honestly surprised at the amount of content that PS4 has coming in the foreseeable year. Now keep in mind, uh, PSX is not even happy yet. The PlayStation uh, event that happens every year, I think this is the third year. And uh, they're going to announce a lot of stuff there too. And they just did, um, they just did Paris Games Week. It's going to be some big news coming from Sony. What's Microsoft going to do at this point? Because the games they've announced, of course, they're great and exciting games. Tomb Raider, which is timed exclusive. Halo, you get a new Halo like every three or four years. Gears of War, if you're going to go by history, every three or four years, they got to come up with new IPs. They got to get on the ball to keep up with Sony. Sony has a huge market share. Sony has probably close to 30 million by the time they do PSX. Consoles sold. That's a lot of people playing these games and they got more exclusive. So Microsoft has got to bear down. They got to knuckle up and they got to get on the ball to bring people over to the Microsoft Xbox One. You guys let me know what you think about this story. Are you surprised to see that Microsoft only has seven exclusives for the remainder of the foreseeable future and Sony has 33? To me, that was a huge shock. Let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys enjoy the rest of the video. I did pretty good here. I'm trying to upload these and get them out of the way. I got so many of them. I'm going to be playing Black Ops 3. If you guys are on Black Ops 3, look me up. I'm going to go through the campaign first. Me and my wife. We need two other people, so hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you're on PS4. Enjoy the gameplay.
it. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And if you like the gameplay, give a thumbs up. I'm the Beast the Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.